miss you guys. Come give me a hug. Bring it in. Bring it in. Oh, yeah. oh there we go. Oh, 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 that's nice. You guys give the best hugs. Mm. It's Liam Mouse Vlog. Liam Mouse Vlog. It's Liam Mouse's Vlog. Scrappy doop boop 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 scrappy doop boop 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 scrappy doop boop 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 scrappy doop scrappy doop boop 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 scrappy doop I think he's a fan <laughs> Hey people what's up People here means people, but I just said it weird. <laughs> I know it's been a minute and I'm very sorry. I uh, I know that my last video was like in the thick of me having COVID and being like, oh my God, this is super weird. I can't smell and I can't taste anything. Like what's going on? Like what is my life? I don't like this. Uh. But I'm better now, as you can see, we are both better. We have recovered fully now and we have been recovered for quite some time now. And we've both been back to work, which is another reason I haven't vlogged because we missed out on, you know, two weeks of pay at the same time so we're both just kind of like I need to work I need to work I need to make the money because I'm going broke and the rent is due <laughs> so I haven't really had the time to vlog or anything and plus I've just sort of been trying to ease back ease back into life a little bit you know and just one thing at a time you know and I still got candles going in fact in fact, I'm about to release a brand new line of candles, which is gonna be super amazing. And of course, as usual, I will do a show and tell video um, explaining all of the things and you'll see them and I'll smell them. And yes, I can smell again, ha <laughs> ha! So good, it's so weird, like, okay, I'll, I'll get to that in a second, hold on, I'm sorry. I haven't even taken a drink of this coffee yet and I'm already like wired, I'm super wired. I've, I've, had, a, I've had a day, I've had a week, I've had a month, I've had a year, you know what? I've had, I'm having this coffee. That's, that's what I'm having right now. We'll just forego the rest of it. So anyways, what the hell was I going to say before I was going to tangent off? Oh, the candles, right? So the candles, um, I decided I was going to make a line that sort of caters specifically to introverts. Candles for introverts, right? And I know that a lot of my candles could already be sort of in that vein, but I wanted to specifically zero in on like the introvert personality and lifestyle and stuff and just sort of make uh, a few candles based around that and to accommodate that. And also because a bunch of people have actually told me when they order my candles, they're like, okay, this specific candle of yours I order and it helps calm my anxiety, like specifically, like it de-stresses me and it helps with my anxiety, like smelling this particular specific smell. And I'm like, that's super cool, you know? So I was like, okay, why don't we combine the sort of anxiety introvert thing here and make these candles that are for people you know like us who like to read and enjoy tea in the garden which incidentally is one of the candles by the way and you know snuggles with cats and just things of that nature and stuff and a few of them are going to be custom choices for scents so and they're supposed to be like anxiety calming candles like that's their purpose like they're not like flashy cool themed based on anything things they're basically just like calm down de-stressor candles and you can pick whatever fragrance you want for that whatever works best for you whatever you like the best so i thought that would be a cool idea those are coming out next week and i'm very excited about them so yay okay the other thing that i was gonna say i was gonna tangent off into the nether regions here <laughs> what the heck my brain is moving 50 miles a minute because this is what happens this is what happens. I do the same thing to JJ when he gets home from work because I have an entire day's worth of built up stuff that I want to tell him. And then when he walks in the door, I'm like, okay, this happened, this happened. This is something I wanted to tell you. Check this out. This is something cool I found. This is something else I wanted to tell you. And oh, did you think about this? Did you remember this? Oh, and remember you got to do this thing. And I just like <laughs> bombard him with stuff. And he's told me, he's the sweetest guy alive. He's told me, he's like, yeah, when you come at me like that, when I just need like 10 minutes to decompress, you know, it, it, it's just like, oh my God. And I, and I immediately am like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like, I really try not to do that. I really do. And he's like, no, no, no. I don't want to say anything because, you know, I want to listen and I, I want you to be able to just talk or whatever. So I just deal with it. So I try, I try to rein it in. But this is kind of the same thing because I haven't seen you guys in so long and I have a multitude of things that want to fall out of my mouth in your direction. 
So that's what's happening, and my brain is kind of spazzing out because I, I, I can't remember all of them <laughs> at the same time. Okay, what was the other thing? Okay, the candles, I was about to say something about, did I cover the smelling thing? Talked about COVID. Oh, right, okay. So the return of my smell and taste, right? It was a really weird process. And a lot of people told me it might take a while because apparently several people who have had COVID, it took them like months to get their smell and or their taste back. And this is what I was hearing. And I was like, oh, good night. The scented candle maker isn't gonna be able to smell. That's not gonna work. <laughs> That's not gonna work for me. <laughs> but uh, it was interesting because the taste started coming back before the smell, which is funny because it was the first one to actually run out the door too. So the first thing that I was able to actually taste was fruit. I could taste fruit, 100%, totally fine, but nothing else. Literally all I could taste was fruit. So I was eating a lot of fruit and enjoying every moment of it because I do love fruit. <laughs> and then slowly but surely, um, you know, other tastes came back. It's not 100% yet. There are still some things that I can eat and I'm like, I'm not actually sure if I can taste this or not. Like it's not very strong. It's it, like a lot of people told me it's kind of a muted taste thing. And that's what other people were saying they experienced as well. So there's that. The scent is kind of the same thing. Um, I don't 100% have the scent back yet, the sense of smell, but there are a few smells that I can immediately pick up. And then there's other ones. They're, they're a little more subtle that I can, I can kind of get a whiff of them. And then there's other things that I absolutely can't smell at all. And I'm okay with that because most of the things that I can't smell that I'm aware of existing around me or JJ points out that smell are bad smells. <laughs> You know, like garbage or like cat pee, you know, in the litter box or something like that. So I'm okay not being able to smell that stuff, but I can smell most of my candle fragrances. I mean, the ones that I need to use anyway. So that's important and that's good. I can, I can smell my candles. I can smell my body spray. I can smell the mouthwash. Um, what else have I tried to smell? I don't really test it too much. I just kind of live life and then realize I can smell something and I'm like, Ooh, I can smell that. <laughs> I can sort of smell the coffee, sort of. And I can taste it a little bit, enough to make me happy. And that's really all I need. <laughs> okay, so another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about, which is kind of cool, actually. Um, I went to, oh God, I've seen three doctors in three days. <laughs> Today included and going back two days, Jesus. And that's not as bad as it sounds. It's not like I'm sick and needed to see a doctor thing. It's just after this whole COVID thing and you know, you get the question everywhere you go, like who's your primary care doctor? I have never had a primary care doctor because I've never lived in one spot long enough to establish one. And I've never had a health insurance until now. And also I never really got sick. So there were like three reasons that I didn't feel the need to ever establish a primary care doctor wherever I was living for like a couple years before I moved again. You know what I mean? So I called up the local hospital. I'm already in the system because I go there for kind of gynecology and I've been there for the dermatology stuff, you know, like my shingles and we, and I told them I wanted to establish a primary care doctor. And they were like, great, we'll set you up with somebody. So I got in there right away. I went in on Wednesday, today's Friday. I went in Wednesday, met the guy. We just kind of went over my medical history or whatever and that was about it. You know, I just kind of established that and now I can say that I have a primary care doctor, which is a super cool adult thing to be able to say. That and I have low rates on my car insurance, my credit is getting in really good shape and I can buy groceries without flinching or checking my bank account. <laughs> All wonderful things to be able to say as an adult, right? <laughs> so anyway, while I was at the doctor, I brought up something to him about my hearing. Like I have really good hearing. I can hear very well. I'm very sensitive to sound, in fact. If things are too loud, it drives me insane. It drives me bonkers and I can hear every little thing and it sucks because I'm a super light sleeper. So just, if I'm asleep, if I'm dead asleep and somebody in the next room goes, I will instantly wake up and be like, ah. Oh. So it sucks. But the thing with my hearing is that I've always had this thing where I, I can hear what someone is saying, but I can't always understand them, which is why I'm terrible on the phone. I'm awful since the whole face mask thing, because if I can't see your lips moving, I'm not 100% sure what you're saying 100% of the time. You know, it's bad. Like, I, you know, for the most part, I can struggle and I can get through it and I can sort of pick out from context, like, okay, we're talking about pizza. So if I hear, 
that's pepperoni to me. Like I don't actually hear a pepperoni, you know what I mean? Sometimes I do, it really depends on who's saying it. it it's, it's weird, it's kind of hit and miss. And if I can see their lips moving, you know, I can see, and I'm like, okay, that was pepperoni, you know, and it wasn't mushroom, you know what I mean? So it's it's been a little frustrating. It's been like that my entire life. My dad used to get on my case. He'd be like, how come you can hear me fart all the way across the house, but you can't hear me when I'm two feet away from you? I mean, he wasn't a tyrant. I'm exaggerating that quite a bit. But anyway, he would say that to me and I was like five years old and I'm like, I don't know. I lack the vocabulary to tell you that I can hear you perfectly fine. I just can't understand you for some reason and I don't know why. So yeah. I brought that up to the doctor and he was like, okay, well, let's send you to the audiology building or clinic, whatever thing, person, doctor, get your ears checked and see what's going on. And I was like, okay. And then yesterday I had a chiropractor appointment because I regularly see a chiropractor and boy, did I need it yesterday. I really, really needed it. My back was such a mess from taking two weeks off from COVID and then going back to work. And I mean, my, my job isn't super like physically taxing, but it, it, enough repetition in what I do gets to be physically taxing. Like it, just, you know, my muscles weren't having it, you know, they just weren't having it after being off for so long and then going back full ham, you know, wasn't having it. So it was great, perfect timing to go to the chiropractor. So I got all that worked out. And then yesterday the audiology clinic gave me a call and they're like, hey, we have an opening tomorrow morning, which was today you know, if you want to come in and have your hearing ear appointment thingy do And I was like, <laughs> why not? <laughs> I'll be up anyway and I actually don't work tomorrow. So yeah, that's perfect. So I went in there this morning and the, the lady gave me a hearing test and I went in this little soundproof booth and she put like little plugs in each ear that emitted sound, you know, and she's like, okay, listen for the beeps and tell me when you hear the beeps on this side and this side. And then she put like a thing behind my head and I had to do the same thing with the beeps. And then I had to like repeat words that she was saying and that a recording was saying. And then she did this thing where like there was like a wind sound in one ear and then I had to listen for beeps in this ear, you know, and everything. It was pretty cool actually. Like I've never actually had my hearing tested before. Like. It was pretty cool, I, yeah. So I, you know, I, I leave the little soundproof booth and you know, I go back out to her and talk to her and she's like, yeah, your hearing is actually like really good. <laughs> like, like really good. And I'm like, I know because I can hear a dog barking like eight blocks away. <laughs> So yeah, I know that I can hear really well, you know, but I'm like, what, a, what is up with this thing where I can hear but can't understand speech? Like, what is that? And she said, there's this thing called auditory processing disorder. Maybe you guys have heard of it. I don't know. This is the first time I've ever heard of it. And apparently it's a thing where, you know, you can hear it, but your brain doesn't correctly interpret the signals of sound that your ears are sending to it. So it doesn't, it's in your brain. It's not in your ears, it's in your brain and it just doesn't process it correctly. So I've had this my whole life. There's no such thing as rewiring my brain to be able to do this, you know, and actually pick out speech that I have trouble with. So, I mean, nothing we can do about it, you know, and she's like, you know, just try to avoid having background noise or having a conversation near the running dishwasher or having the TV on or something. And I was like, so basically what I've been doing, okay. <laughs> but I mean, it's nice to know, you know, it's nice to put a, a, a name to, to what I experience, you know, because for the longest time I didn't realize it was odd because when you live with something your whole life and you don't compare notes with other people on how they hear versus how you hear, which is not something that normal people do, you know, you don't know what's weird. You don't know unless someone's like, you know, it's a little weird that you can't understand people because like, that's not normal because most people can. And I'm just like, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> so yeah, it's nice to have a name to go with this thing and um, that's about it. So that's cool. But then as you probably already have noticed, I decided to treat myself today and I did post on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you already saw it. Good for you awesome. Yeah, I, my hair was so freaking long and it was getting ridiculous and I haven't had it professionally trimmed or cut in... I don't know. I want to say like 10 years at least. Something like that. At least 10 years. Probably more like 12. And I always just trim it myself because, you know, I can do that and even it up and it's, you know, I'm not an idiot and I can use scissors. 
right? But you know, it just got so long and there was no layers to it anymore. And I'm like, this, this needs to be more manageable and I can't do it myself and I want to treat myself. So I went to a salon here locally in town and just on the whim, they had an opening for me today. I was like, sweet. So I went in there and got a haircut. It's not like super short, you know, but it's shorter than it was. Believe me, it's about four or five inches shorter than it was. It was stupid long and she put some texture and some layers in there and she did this little styly wavy thingy she was like oh yeah beach curls I'm like okay but we're not gonna call them beach curls we're gonna call them rock curls because I'm not a beach curls type of girl you know what I'm saying yeah <laughs> and she thought that was funny and if she didn't she pretended like she thought it was funny which is very polite of her so either way she wins <laughs> so yeah I'm I'm feeling pretty good about it it's nice it's nice to not have the heavy weight of all this freaking hair like this just feels so much lighter and nicer and it just oh and it's nice and it smells nice the hairspray she used and the products she used they smell like I don't smell like a salon I just smell like oh my hair smells nice you know and it's very nice see I can smell I can smell a little bit a little bit enough to know enough to know that it's there oh scrappy sleeping this is so cute oh now his eyes are open of course he's got his little penguin that he chewed the arms and legs and sweater off of because that's how he treats his toys Is the penguin giving you attitude? Anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, and I bought a bicycle too. I'm very happy about that, very excited. Because I wanted to get one last year. You know, COVID happened and everybody stopped being able to do things and it was summer and I was like, I want a bicycle. I want to be able to tool around town. JJ likes to rollerblade. I am not with the rollerblading so much at all. So terrible. And I'm like, you can rollerblade, I can bicycle, and we can go out on different wheels, but still go out together and, you know, roll through town or whatever. But they were all completely sold out. Everywhere in town was sold out of bicycles that weren't like, you know, $1,500 or something, you know, last summer, just because everybody went pandemic crazy and it was summer and they just went, like everybody bought all the bicycles. And I was like, crap. <laughs> So this year, this year, I got on top of it. I saw a bicycle that I wanted. I said, wrap it up, take it home. I'm getting it right this second. So I have a bicycle now and I'm very happy. So we might take that out this weekend um, with the rollerblades. I don't know, but I'm just happy to have the darn thing. And it's good. And it's purple. Oh, it's purple. <laughs> So yeah, I don't really know what else to tell you guys. I don't, I guess there's not really much else going on. Just um, definitely, I know a lot of people have been concerned about like our health because I haven't really been posting videos, you know, ever since we had COVID. But I've been trying to post on my Liam Mouse, you know, Facebook page, you know, to let you guys know what's going on and everything. So again, if you don't follow that, you know, go do it. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, go do it. All the links to all my stuff is always in the descriptions of every video. So you, no excuse. No excuse, no excuse to not be able to find it. Watching you. Boop. So anyway, I um, definitely am happy to make another video here finally to let you guys know what's going on, give you some updates here. I know it's not very exciting to have a bunch of like update videos, but when I've been gone for a long time, you know, I care about you guys and I, sort of feel like you care about me too, maybe, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. So I figure you wanna know what's going on, you know, with everything, and plus I'm like excited to tell you guys things that I'm excited about because it's cool, I just like to tell you things. I like you. <laughs> okay, I'm being weird and it needs to stop. So yeah, new introvert candles coming out next week. Keep an eye on the Underworld Connection Facebook page. And if you don't follow that, uh, that's my candle Facebook business page. Go follow that. The link to that is also in the description. And I will also post on Liam Mouse Facebook page about it as well. So you guys will know exactly what's going on. New candles will be out. You'll see pictures. I will do a video uh, showing them and sniffing them for your entertainment. And it should be a jolly good time. I'm gonna go blow my nose because my nose is stuffy today. Because that's how noses get sometimes. That's why they make tissues. So I hope you guys are hanging in. <laughs> what am I doing?
And I will see you guys in the next video, whenever and whatever that may be. I promise not to take this big of a break again anytime soon because I miss you guys. I miss you guys. Come give me a hug. Bring it in. Bring it in. Oh, yeah. oh there we go. Oh, 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 that's nice. You guys give the best hugs. Mm. All right, thank you guys very much for watching and for sticking around. I love you, love you, love you. And I will see you next time. Okay, bye.